Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to connect your Echo to your Fire Stick so you can use your voice to control your TV. I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today we're going to be talking about how to connect your Echo to your Fire Stick. Now, what does this do? Well, why would you want to connect to this? When you got a remote, well, you could do voice controls. What I mean is they updated Alexa and they added voice control. So in terms, you could say, go back 20 seconds, or you could say, stop, or you could say, play. If you have the Fire Cube or Echo Cube or whatever they're calling it, I'll, I'll put the real name down below. You know me, I don't remember names. If you're good. You can actually turn the TV on. See, now I have a Harmony Hub linked to my Echo devices, so I can turn on the TV, but it didn't really have have the function without saying ask Harmony. I would have to say ask Harmony to stop, ask Harmony to play, ask Harmony to launch Netflix. I constantly have to give those commands after saying her name. So it was, it, you know, it's not a big deal, but it was not convenient. It was just easier to pick up this. Now I can actually say, you know, her name, I'm not going to say it, and say play, stop. Now, the way this works is you can only connect one Echo device to one Fire Stick. So that way it'll know when you say stop, play, it actually knows that you're talking about the video. Or if you say, hey, play Netflix, it'll launch Netflix. It'll know what you're talking about. Now, if you did it to another device, like for my example, I have one behind the camera right now where I usually sit, and then I have one in the kitchen. The one in the kitchen, you cannot give commands to to play with the TV. But the one in the living room next to my chair, I can. I hope this is making sense. It can only be one device. So one Echo, one fire stick. For example, I actually have one in my bedroom as well that's on the nightstand. So that one is actually linked to TV in my bedroom. So if I say launch Netflix to her, she'll launch Netflix right in the bedroom. Okay, so how do you pair them? You have to pair your Echo to your fire stick. Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, here we are on the phone. We're going to click on the Alexa app and we're going to open that up. Let that load. Okay, once it loads, what you're going to do is there's three bars at the top corner there, and we're going to click on that, and then you're going to click on Music, Video, and Books. Click on that, and you see across the top it says Music, Books, TV, and Video. They actually made this easier since the last time I had to do this. Just click on TV and Video. Click on Fire TV. And what we're going to do from here is Manage Devices. Click on that. Oh, wouldn't you know it, right in the middle of making this video, Alexa has changed. So what we're gonna do, again, it's the same as before, and I apologize, guys, I was right in the middle of making this and they updated it. We're gonna hit the three dots at the top again. We're gonna scroll down to settings. And it's, this is actually easier, but I left the other way, just in case you haven't updated. And then we're gonna go to TV and video. We're going to click on Fire TV and then Manage Devices. And then it's basically the same on the rest of this video. So I'm going to continue playing it. I just had to stop it for a minute and get this information to you guys. All right. And as you can see, I already have devices linked. Now I'm going to link another device. So I'm going to show you how to actually link it. I'm going to do the bedroom Fire Stick because I don't really worry about the bedroom hit continue and I'm gonna link it to let's link it to the bathroom one maybe I wanna pause it while I'm peeing link device that simple now that device is linked to it you just talk and it will know to turn on off and you'll be able to do all the functions from the bathroom now <laughs> and if you ever wanna unlink it and you wanna change or move stuff around you just hit unlink that's what I'm going to do here. And that's basically it, guys. You just add that function in there, and once that function's in there, you're able to control your Fire TV from your voice. Okay, so let me give you an example of how this works. Alexa, play the 100. Getting the 100 from Netflix. Don't you love when things work? Alexa, play the 100 on the William Group. Getting the 100 from Netflix. Previously on the hundred, that's why we'll be here in ten days. Alexa, pause. 
Okay, so now I have all the voice commands right there. You see it launched it. I said, play Netflix, the 100, and it worked. And it put it right on the screen for me. How awesome is that? But let me show you some more of the function of what this can do. Alexa, play. Alexa, skip 10 seconds. Alexa, skip 30 seconds. Alexa, stop. This is why they left us behind to scavenge tech. So there's the example of how it works. You could say stop, play, skip forward five seconds. You could say a whole bunch of commands. There's a whole bunch on their website that you can give. Let me show you the search function. Alexa, search for mannequin. Getting mannequin from Netflix. See, right now it's searching Netflix. Alexa, home. So you give it a home command. Now I can say, Alexa, search videos for mannequin. Getting mannequin from Fire TV. And there it is. You can actually see the movie. It's what my wife likes to watch. Not me. No. What guy would like that? a lot of great features. It's able to be voice controlled. It's nice when you have that bucket of ice cream in front of you. Not that I, I do that. And you want to stop the movie and you can't touch the control or you, know, you got the pint in this hand and you got the spoon in this hand. Anyway, but it's a nice feature. It doesn't have a lot of functionality, but it is nice to see that Amazon is updating their Echo devices and adding more control. Let me know what you guys think about this voice control for your TV. Is it something that you would use or is it just something that is a novel? Tea or not really fun. I mean, I use it quite a bit, especially when I'm running around the house or I forget something and I leave the remote behind me. I actually enjoy this feature, but I'd like to know your thoughts, so put it down in the comments down below. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Like that, guys! Be able to do, or if your hands are full, or... Switcher is unlucky. You're fired. You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just putting it out there.